Huh? Shall we begin in this burning house called America? Y'all know a house divided cannot stand. A house divided cannot stand. I listened to something a little earlier. Somebody sent me. We're going to start this live off. Let me see something real quick. Give me a second. Where's this video? Somebody sent me this video. I said I got to play it for y'all. Shout out to Anton. Um, just listen up. Recognize that there are a, a lot of angry, disillusioned people out there upset with the slow pace of change. And, and I get it. It is reasonable to be frustrated. We all know we have a lot more work to do in this country. But to anyone out there thinking about sitting out this election or voting for Donald Trump or a third party candidate in protest because you're fed up, let me warn you, your rage does not exist in a vacuum. If we don't get this election right, your wife, your daughter, your mother, we as women will become collateral damage to your rage. <laughs> this assault on our safety and, and, and to the women listening we have every right to demand that our the men in our lives do better by us we have to use our voices to make these choices clear to the men that we love our lives are worth more than their anger and disappointment and we are more than just baby making vessels and if you are a woman who lives in a household of men that don't listen to you or value your opinion just remember that your vote is a private matter of the political views of your partner. You get to choose. You get to use your judgment and cast your vote for yourself and the women in your life. Remember women standing up for what is best for us can make the difference in this election. So let us use our voices in these final days to make it plain to the men in our... No, I gotta stop that. I couldn't even take no more. And I'm going to play it again. Are y'all listening to what I'm listening to? Because, see, this is the crazy part about it, right? White people are clear that they standing together, even though I'm not saying that all white people was voting for Trump, because that's a lie. But white, the majority of white, so you telling me the majority of white, men and women, they got a full understanding that they stand together. But in the black community, we just some baby makers. Did y'all hear that cockeyed son of a... I ain't saying you two. Did y'all hear that cockeyed son of a... I'm being nice. Did y'all hear it? So we just some baby makers, huh? So that's why y'all approve. That's why one of the biggest arguments that y'all using in this campaign is that women, especially, and they're not dealing with all women, they're telling black women that you have the right to go have an abortion. You have the right to go sneak behind that black man's back and go see a doctor and get rid of that unwanted child. What kind of message are we really, really sending to our daughters? Do you think for a single second that I want my daughters to be like you, B-I-T-C? Where my daughters is so mentally broken that they actually open up their legs and let a man into their universe and let him let his life force inside of her. And she cares that less about the decision that she made in a nigga that she chose that automatically... 
her first instinct is to take something that came through a portal, which was her, and flush it out of her body as if it ain't nothing. As if she has no universe, no, no universal respect for the universe, for God, for nature, for the laws of the universe. So you are going to interrupt something as great as you being given life through a portal. Something that some people, some races can't even do. They races is on a decline. They can't even have babies, but you don't even understand why the agenda is to keep you from having babies. Shout out to my white people over there. Love y'all to death. But their birth rate is at a decline. And you wonder why they passing laws? Whatever happened to that Usher shit? If there's a question of my love, you got it. It don't belong to anyone but you. Huh? So that's how we do with each other. It ain't about that holy matrimony. It's about hit it and quit it. That's what they think. This is what they fighting for. For you to have the right to slow down the growth of your population. This is the argument. And telling women you have the right to go behind your man back. This is how low, this is how low this filthy conniving. I'm trying my best not to be the nigga I was before Charleston White starts stealing my shit so I could protect my, my channel, my platform. Because I don't want to be nice because she thinks so little, so little of black men and black women in our relationship and our bonds, I guess she she think what well, she thinks she's the only one that caters to Obama and the rest of y'all just some bum B-I-T-C-H's. That's what she think? That y'all don't cater to y'all men? That y'all not loyal to y'all men? Do you hear what she's saying to you, black woman? As if there's not black women that don't cook for their men, rub their men back, rub their men feet, run bath water for their men. As if we don't have black women that cater to their men and let their men make decisions based off of them making decisions together at a table. As if there's not black women that don't trust the judgment of their men. Did y'all listen to her? Let her say it again. And I don't even understand why is Michelle Obama talking? You're not running for office. Why are you so why are y'all so desperate for this position? Why are y'all so desperate for Kamala Harris to get in power when she's already in power and she's doing nothing from her power? Y'all want to keep her in power. She's already in power and ain't doing nothing with her power. Why are y'all so desperate? And better yet, why do they feel black men, black women, why do they feel like we are so divided? Why do they feel like we are so divided? This is disgusting. 